Now see the question number nine. So here in the question number nine, what is the sum of the digits of last three digits of n if n is the largest multiple of 55 that can be formed using the digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 just once. So what is the meaning of this question? What is the sum of digits of last three digits? What is the sum of the digits of last three digits of n? So n is actually a seven digit number including the num digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 not necessarily in this order and if n is the largest multiple of 55, n is the, n is the largest number of 55 that can be formed by using the digit 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So what is the meaning of that statement? So here n is a seven digit number, 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 okay, n is a seven digit number. So that means the num starting with which contain number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? So n is a seven digit number contains 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this seven digit number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this seven digit number is a multiple of 5. This n is a multiple of 5, sorry, 55. This n is a multiple of 55. So what is the meaning? So what is the meaning of that statement? So here, the sum of the digits of last three digits is n and n is the largest multiple of 55. So what do you mean, what is actually the meaning of multiple by 55? That means this n number, this n is a multiple of 55 means what? It means when you are dividing this n by 55, then you will be getting the remainder 0. That means n is a multiple of 55, maybe larger, smallest, whatever it is. If n is a multiple of 55, if n is a multiple of 55, then if you are dividing this n by 55, then you will be getting, if you are dividing this n by 55, then you are getting the remainder value as 0. That means here, since n is a multiple of 55, you can write this 55 as what? 5 into 11. Since n is a multiple of 55, then n should be the multiple of both 5 and 11. Since n is a multiple of 55 and we know that 55 is what? 5 into 11. So 5 is a prime number, 11 is another prime number, which is a multiple of prime numbers, right? This 55 is a multiple of 2 prime number. Then this n should be again the multiple. It should be the multiple of both 5 and 11. Okay, n should be the multiple of both 5 and 11. So this point is very important. Okay, n should be the multiple of, n should be the multiple of both 5 and 11. Or you can say that n should be easily divisible by, n is should be easily divisible by. Or you can say that n is divisible by, n is divisible by both, both 5 and 11. So you need to find a 7 digit number in such a way that this number is divisible by both 5 and 11 and that should be the largest multiple of 50 that should be the largest multiple of 55 okay so the number should be the largest multiple of 55 so you need to check three conditions right so the number should be the largest multiple of 55 okay and it should be the largest multiple of 55 that means and again the number should be what it should be divisible by both 11 and 5 so three conditions you need to get right so how to solve this question right so actually the solving method is very very easy but it is actually a little bit time consuming question right so let us check how we can solve this question so n is a seven digit number one two three four five six seven n is a seven digit number containing the values zero one two three four five six right six and this number should be a so what are the conditions so the number should be a multiple of 55 not only multiple of 55 it should be the largest multiple of 55 right largest multiple of 55 since it is the largest multiple of 55 this number should be divisible by the number should be divisible by both both 11 and 5 so now look here this number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right? Oh, I think that was an error, right? All right. Okay. So, here, 
there are seven places here right so this number should be divisible by 5 this number should be divisible by 5 and divisible by 11 and first of all it should be the largest number right it should be the largest number so look here 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 so which number should comes in the extreme left in order to make this number as the largest number it will be 6 right so in the extreme left you need to get 6 and in extreme num right what are the possible values that can be what are the possible digits that uh, which can come in the extreme right that means in the ones place what are the possible digits that can that can come in ones place it can be either 0 or 5 why it is either 0 or 5 because it is a multiple of 5 right again it is a multiple of 5 right it is a multiple of 5 and it should be a multiple of 11 since it is a multiple of 5 the ending number should be 0 or 5 the ending number should be 0 or 5 okay so now you got yeah right now you got uh, two things from the given clues right the starting number should be 6 because it is a largest multiple of 55 and now the ending number should be either 0 or 5 because you know that since it is a multiple of 55 the number should be easily divisible by 55 that means the number should be divisible by both 5 and 11 since the number should be divisible by 5 the number should end with either 0 or 5 so that condition is very important so we applied the divisibility of 5 condition right now divisibility condition of 5 we applied and now our next is what this number should be again divisible by 11 so here you need to know the divisibility condition of 11 so what is the divisibility condition of 11 divisibility of 11 how you to check whether a number is divisible by 11 for example consider this number a b c d so this is a four digit number if it is divisible by 11 then this numbers in the odd places so a and c are the numbers in the odd places and b and d are the numbers in the even places right so the numbers in the odd places minus the numbers in the even places their difference value should be equal to 0 or it should be a multiple of 11 that means here a plus c minus b b plus d a plus c minus b plus d you need to get either 0 or it should be about multiple of 11 so this condition is very important that means if a given number is divisible by 11 then the numbers in the odd places the sum of the digits in the odd places minus sum of the digits in the even places their difference value should be either 0 or it should be a multiple of 11 so please keep that condition in your mind and now let us solve this question okay so look here so here the divisibility condition is what so the divisibility of 11 it is the sum of the odd minus sum of the even it should be either multiple of either the number should be 0 or it should be a multiple of 11 either the number should be 0 or it should be a multiple of 11 right so look here and you know that here what is that what is the individual digits number so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and when you add all this number that is 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 when you add all this number you are getting 21 right look here 4 plus uh, 6 10 6 uh, 10 plus 5 15 15 plus 3 18 18 plus 2 20 20 plus 1 it is 21 when you add all these numbers you are getting 21 and we know that the sum of the odd digits minus sum of, since it is a multiple of 11 since this 7 digit is a multiple of 11 this sub, sum of the odd digits and the sum of the even digits it should be what sum of the odd digit minus sum of the even digit it should be either equal to 0 or it should be a multiple of 11 so if i am assuming that a is the sum of the odd digits if i am assuming that a is the sum of the odd digit sum of odd digit and b is the sum of the even digit b is the sum of the even digit then a minus b should be what a minus b should be either 0 or 11 okay a minus b should be what a minus b should be a minus b should be either either 0 or 11 right either 0 or 11 okay that means the equation can be what either a minus b can be 0 or a minus b can be 11 11 or multiple of 11 okay so since the sum of this all the terms is 21 all the numbers is 21 you can write it like a plus b is equal to 21 am i correct since the sum of the value is 21 
sum of all the sum of all this value is 21 you can write that a plus b is equal to what a plus b is equal to 21 again you can write it like a plus b is equal to 21 right so okay so i think now it is visible right okay so here i think now you are getting two equations right two set of equations you are getting look here a minus a plus b is equal to 21 let it be equation 1 from the sum of the values you are getting a plus b is 21 and there are other two equations a minus b is equal to 0 and a minus b is equal to it should be a multiple of 11 now either a minus b can be 0 or a minus b can be a 11 or multiple of 11 right so just take these two equations first a plus b is equal to 21 and a minus b is equal to 11 just take these two equations and when you solve this equation you are getting that 2a is equal to what 21 plus 11 so what value you are getting so it is 32 and a is equal to what a is equal to 16 right a is equal to 16 and b is equal to what b is equal to 5 right b again you are getting it as 5 so you got a value as 16 and b value as 5 now if i am assuming a minus b is equal to 0 look here a plus b is equal to uh, 21 and a minus b is equal to what 0 then you are getting b b got cancelled 2a is equal to what 2a is equal to 21 a you are getting a decimal value right 21 by 2 so this a minus b cannot be 0 right because a, a you are getting a decimal value and you you know that a is actually the sum of the digits right sum of the digits of the numbers so sum of the digits in the odd places right so sum of this digits cannot be a decimal right because of that you can say that a minus b cannot be 0 if you are taking a minus b is equal to 0 then you are getting a value as a decimal number and that is not satisfying the condition so here you can see that a plus b is equal to what a sorry a minus b is equal to 11 so this is actually the condition which is satisfying according to the sorry this equation is satisfying our condition right so a plus b is equal to 21 and a minus b is equal to 11 and when from that you are getting a value as 16 and b value as 5 okay so now you got a value as 16 and b value as what 5 right now you got a value as 16 and b value as 5 so what is our next step so here look here a value is what sum of the digits in the odd places right a value is the sum of the digits in the odd places and b value is the sum of the digits in the even places so now you need to select the numbers from 0 2 3 4 5 6 in such a way that a should be the sum of the digits in the odd places is equal to 16 and the sum of the digits in the b should be in the even places it should be 5 so the digits are what <coughs> 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 right so these are the digits so sum of the digits in the odd places is 16 and the sum of the digits in the even places it is 5 so i think it is easy to assume the sum of the digits in the even places is 5 right so because you know the sum value is 5 so just take the numbers which make the sum value as 5 so just select the numbers for example this 2 and 3 right so 2 3 then 4 1 right so look here before selecting the sum i need to tell one sec one thing so look here i will draw here so six seven places right 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 seven places are there and in this seven places <coughs> what are the odd places right so this cross marks are the odd places and this tick marks are the even places right and here it comes 6 and here either it is 0 or 5 so here I said that the sum of the even places is what sum of the even places that is b is what 5 so in the even places how many numbers are there this tick are the even places so that tick value means what three different values three different values so you need to select three different value out of 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 in such a way that the resultant sum should be what 
equal to 5, right? So how to select the value? So <coughs> 2, 3, 0, right? And 4, 1, 0. I think these are the pairs of value that you are getting the total value as 5, right? So in two conditions, in these two conditions, you can see that 0 is a common value, right? Or you can say that in order to get the sum value 5, 0 is a must value. So you can deduce the condition, okay, of the possibility of 0 in the ones place and you can say that here the value should be what? Here the value should be 5, right? So in both the conditions, we initially we assume that the number should end with either 0 or 5 since it is a multiple of 5. But here <coughs> we know that if, ne if you want to get the sum value of the even places as 5, then one of the digits should be 0, right? One of the even digits should be 0 from, so, but here we assume that the ones place digit as either 0 or 5 and the ones place is what? It is actually an odd place. So, this place you, 0 cannot come. So, 0 can uh, come only in this even places, right? This tick, uh, <coughs> in the uh, places where I put ticks, right? So, there only this 0 can come. So, you can e easily eliminate 0 from this or you can eliminate the possibility of 0 coming in the ones place, right? So, look here. First, it should be 6. If it is 2, 3, 0, then what are the remaining values? 2, 3, 0, 2, 3, 0, remaining values are what? 1, 4, 5, 6. If it is 4, 1, 0, what are the remaining values? 4, 1, 0, it will be 2, 3, 5, 6. So, 6 is the possible initial value, uh, the value in the extreme leftmost side and 5 is the value in the extreme rightmost side or in the ones place. So, the remaining spaces you need to put the values, right? So, what all values you can put in the uh, in between places? In the even places, so here what value you can come? So, look here. If I am putting 4 here, here in 1, 4, 5, 6, after 6 and 5, the higher value is 4 and in 2, 3, 5, 6, after, six, the high, after 5 and 6, the higher value is 3. So, we need to get the highest multiple of 55, right? So, here after 6, there, the value should be in such a way that, that it should be the highest value, right? It should be the highest value that we need to get from this. So, I think 4 is actually the most suitable value here. Then what value can come after 4? So, guys, from after 6, what value you can write? So, after 6, it should be an even place, right? So, you need to select the value from 2, 3, 0. So, it will be 3. Then, <coughs> first of all, let us fill all the even places. Then 3, 0. Then you can write as 2, right? So, remaining places, what value can come? So, it is 4, 1, right? So, 6, 3, 4, 0, 1, 2, 5. This is one possibility. Then what is what will be the another possibility, right? Look here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right? So 6, 5 at the end. Then what are the other possibilities, right? So here these are the even places, right? 6, 0, 3, 0, 2, right? So that is actually the maximum value that you can get uh, by using the this set of values, right? And now consider the second set. So it will be 6, 4, then you can write 1, then you can write 0, right. So what are the other values? It will be, you can write 3 here, then you can write 2 here, right. Now compare these two values, 6, 3, 4, 0, 1, 2, 5 and 6, 4, 3, 1, 2, 0, 5. So there are many possibilities that you can actually make and this is actually the uh, so here in these two possibilities, you can see that 6431205, 6431205, this is actually the largest number, right? So from this, so this is actually the biggest number that you can make, right? So look here 6431205 and here 634, right? 
So this is actually the biggest number that is 64. Uh, so this is actually the biggest number and the question is what? Question is to find the sum of the last three digits that is 5 plus 2 it is 7. So the answer is 7. Okay. So this is actually a big, uh, you, so yeah there are many uh, procedures are actually going on to this kind of question. So anyway this is how you need to solve this question right.